Wellbutrin or bupropion is a drug that has helped thousands, if not millions of people with their depression and countless others to stop smoking. But did you know there is a dark side to this drug? Let us take a closer look. Well, butrin has been idolized as a wonder drug by hundreds of people suffering from major depressive disorder, and with good reason. Major depressive disorder is a mood disorder that causes persistent sadness and a loss of interest in things that usually bring pleasure. Although there are many classes of drugs that are used to treat major depressive disorder, only about 30% of people achieve complete remission with the initial trial of a drug. On top of that, all of these drugs can have devastating side effects that can lead to discontinuation. Well, Butrin has solved these problems for many people suffering with major depressive disorder. First, by rescuing those people who did not respond to their first drug, and second, by not causing side effects such as sexual dysfunction and weight gain. In addition to this, Zyban, which contains the same active ingredient as Wellbutrin, Bupropion, has helped millions of people stop smoking. But with a wonder drug like this, there must be a catch somewhere, right? But what is the cause of major depressive disorder? There's more than one theory explaining the cause of major depressive disorder. And the monoamine depletion theory is one such theory that proposes that depression may be the result of a lack, a depletion of three neurotransmitters in the brain, serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Now, a neurotransmitter is a molecule that conducts electrical impulses in the brain from one nerve cell to the other, so that they have very important roles to play in the way our brain functions. When there's an imbalance in these three neurotransmitters in the brain, we become depressed. And all of the medications that we use today to treat depression, increase one or more of these neurotransmitters in the brain, so that an increase in serotonin improves our mood and alertness and increases interest and activity. Increasing norepinephrine in the brain increases our arousal and alertness and promotes vigilance and enhances the formation and retrieval of memories and focuses attention. When the level of dopamine is increased in the brain, we experience intense pleasure and satisfaction and we are motivated. By preventing the removal or reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain, drugs such as tricyclic antidepressants increase the levels of these neurotransmitters, SNRIs, or serotonin, norepinephrine, reuptake inhibitors work in the same way. SSRIs and triazolopyridines are two classes of drugs that work by inhibiting the removal or reuptake of serotonin in the brain, thereby raising its levels. A fifth class of drugs, the MAO inhibitors or monoamine oxidase inhibitors, is a class that inhibits the breakdown or destruction of these three neurotransmitters, leading to an increased level of these neurotransmitters in the synapses, the gaps between nerve cells in our brain. Well, butrin belongs to a class of its own known as the aminoketones. And being the sole drug in this class, it has unique properties. It prevents the removal or reuptake of dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. Well, butrin or bupropion increases the levels of dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain by acting on a structure known as the norepinephrine transporter and a second structure known as the dopamine transporter. As it happens, 
cocaine and amphetamines work on the same transporter, the dopamine transporter, to increase levels of dopamine in the brain, leading to the sensation of euphoria and pleasure that these drugs cause. This means that high doses of Welbutrin or bupropion can cause experiences similar to those produced by cocaine and amphetamines. These similarities between the actions of Welbutrin and those of cocaine and amphetamines have led people to abuse Welbutrin or bupropion. Abusers claim it gives them a crack-like high at a much cheaper price. As a result, Welbutrin or bupropion has been dubbed the poor man's cocaine and carries street names such as Welbees and Wellies and Dubs and Barneys. Abusers of the drug crush the pills and snort the powder or mix the powder in water and inject it into their veins with devastating consequences. High levels of bupropion in the brain can cause seizures and fatal cardiac arrest and at other times, it can lead to unsightly sores and scars on the skin where it is injected. Welbutrin is a double-edged sword. It is a good servant, but a dreadful master. If you are prone to addiction or have a history of addiction, do not take the risk of developing a new drug addiction. Tell your provider about the history before you start taking Welbutrin. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Subscribe to the channel to help us to grow so we can continue to bring you interesting topics in medicine. Until the next video, stay healthy, stay safe.